Alright guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Vast Fire Red, Blue, and Green Hunting Light. Now, first of all, I'd like to say thanks to Vast Fire for sending this out for me to do a review on. It means a lot and I love doing review videos and I love bringing all kinds of information to the you, the viewer. And so I'd just like to give a thanks to them before we start the review. Secondly, I would like to say that I'm very excited to announce that I'm going to be giving away a Vast Fire Light exactly like this to someone that subscribes to my YouTube channel and comments down below. I will be picking the winner at the end of January and I will ship this light to you. Alright? I will reach out and contact you if you're the winner. So, stay tuned. And remember, comment and subscribe down below. Now I'm going to get into this unboxing. I'm going to flip the camera around and give you a first person perspective of me unboxing this light for the first time. Alright, so let's switch. Alright guys, so here is the Vast Fire Light. And as you can see, it comes in this very cool green military looking case. And I have received other lights in very similar cases. Um, my wind fire was in a black one, but this one's in a green one. And this one's not destroyed like the wind fire was, so... There's that. Alright, when you open it up, you have your light. It's pretty standard. Oh gosh. So you have your light. It's pretty standard light. It's it's pretty. It's gray. It's different. It's neat. So you have your light, you have your charger, this charger is a little different than the normal ones, the other ones don't, my other hunting lights don't have these springs in them, hmm. I don't know what that's about. You have pressure switch, and then it matches the lights, that gray color, and you have two batteries. So, that's all the light comes with. Um, it doesn't have any mounting stuff, but I don't know. Maybe you wouldn't buy this one exactly for hunting, or you can just pick up some mounting equipment, which is really no big deal at all. You need like a, like a flashlight mount for the end of your rifle. I mean, they're all over Amazon. So that pretty much undoes it for the whole unboxing of all the stuff in the light. Um, seems really durable. So, before I go into actually showing you guys how the light performs, I'd like to go over some specs of this light right here. So, it has three lights in it, as you can see, and each of them are rated for different distances. So, the black light is rated for 80 yards, the green light is rated for 180 yards, and the red coyote light is rated for a hundred yards so I mean that's about par this flashlight is relatively inexpensive at around 30 bucks so I mean you're not going to get a high 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 shining flashlight for 30 bucks but still pretty decent so the red light is supposed to last for four hours the green light is supposed to last for three hours and the ultraviolet black light is supposed to last for two hours and that pretty much does it for the specs of it. Now, this thing has a free one year warranty, which is really good so that if anything happens to this, Fast Light will take care of you and you don't have to worry about the flashlight or anything happening to it. So you can feel safe in buying this thing. So now that I have went over all of this, I'm going to go to the field and then we're going to hit the table with the uh, with the final thoughts after I get done with the field stuff so let's get to it alright so as you can see I have the vast fire light here and we are at the farm and we're going to test it out so this this lights pretty cool as you know it doesn't have to have a bulb switch so every time you click it you get a different light and it has green red and um, black light so as seen in the earlier part of the video, each of these lights are rated for something different. But I'm going to test them at the same range just to give you guys a kind of 
ballpark of what this thing's good for. I mean, it's not like a long distance shooting light, so I'm just gonna shine it out and you guys can see it on the camera about how far it'll go. All right, so the first one I think is gonna be red. All right, so as you can see, or I'm not quite sure how far you can see, cameraman Hunter. How, how good is it looking on, on camera? I'd say it pretty good. Yeah, so this, I'm standing right here and there's a tree line that you can see really good directly in front, like where these are. But if you look through the middle of these two trees right here, this tree and this tree, I can see a little bit on the back side. And there's another tree line and that's about 100 yards, give or take. And the light's starting to dim about that distance. So I'd say it's probably a max. Wouldn't you say, Hunter, on, yeah, you, you on could, shooting that? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't go much further than that. All right, so now we got the green light, and that's a lot more spread on this light. You can see everything much better. It's brighter. It's, I guess, I guess spread's the best way to describe this, don't you think? Width. Width, yes, it has good width. So the red light was more of a beam. This has more of width to it, and... It does about the same distance. I think the red light was probably a little bit better on terms of distance, don't you think? I could see the back tree line a little better, but this has more of a blanket effect of light. If you're trying to pick hunt, you'd pick up a lot more area with this light. All right, so now let's go to the black light. And this is not a distance light. This is what you're supposed to use to like track deer. I think it's like blue light. Or it looks purple to me, but this is what you're supposed to track deer. So what you do is you'd shoot a deer, and there'd be blood on the ground. And this is this will pick up the different shades. So the dark red will show up really good on the ground. I don't have any blood here to <laughs> to show as a reference, but as you can see, there's darker spots on the ground, and that's where the darker colored grass is. So this would be pretty decent if you're like tracking a deer. I mean, you won't get distance with this light at all, but for close up. It'd be a good like walk around light and track deer blood light. Hog blood. Hog blood, boys. Anyway, so blue light does really good. I think it would serve its purpose pretty well. Um, no complaints there. Red and green light, pretty decent. I wouldn't say they are like the top of the line red and green light. But this light is only 30 bucks, so that's something to consider. It's small, it's compact, it doesn't have a huge carrying case. So that's another thing to keep in mind when you're searching for a light, and this one does its purpose pretty well. All right, so now I'm gonna take it back to the table to get my final thoughts on this thing. So let's go. All right, guys, so as you can see, the light did fairly well. I don't really think the, uh, the black light went to 80 yards, but... What are you really going to be looking at 80 yards away with the black light? So, alright, so as you saw, the other lights shined really well and did about what they were supposed to. Um, for a $30 light, I'd say pretty decent. Um, I do wish, one thing I would have added that I wish I could have added to this kit is some way to mount it to your rifle. And I think that's lacking just a bit. But other than that, I'd say it's a pretty good light. And I really like how it has an ultraviolet LED or ultraviolet black light in it. And I think it's really unique. I think it's something that not a lot of lights have, and it's pretty cool. Alright, so remember guys, I'm giving one of these away. All you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel and comment down below. And I'll be picking a winner at the end of January. Alright, so be on the lookout for that. I'll announce the winner in one of my videos in February. So you'll have to stay tuned, and I'll also reach out to you. So guys, that about does it. Remember, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know. Tell me if you want to win the light. That's all you have to comment. You don't really have to comment anything else. And uh, like the video, guys. And as always, take someone outdoors. I'll see y'all next time.